Houston, Skylab. Ready to begin solar chronograph observations. Hey, morning, Skylab. We've got a new Capcom on now with a new crew. Lab coats in the back room are eager and waiting for your solar telemetry data. Thank you, Bill. You're up bright and early. Mm. Did you draw the short straw this morning? Yeah, actually, I uh, tried to draw an inside straight last night. Ended up swapping out morning duty for an extra 50. Oh, sounds like an American poker reference to me, Bill. And I look forward to you explaining all the rules to me in between ATM passes. Uh, it's easier to show you in person. And maybe you could join our little game next time you're back in the world. That sounds grand. But I hope you don't think I am, as you Americans would say, an easy mark. Never crossed my mind, Dorian. Bring your paycheck. OK. I am at the ATM panel, starting a run. Seeing some X-ray emission. And the particle count is rising. Image intensity count is exceeding 30. 50. Wait a minute. There is a large, a very large prominence extending out into the corona. It's like a major solar flare, but it's bigger than anything I've ever seen. Houston, the prominence is at least 100,000 kilometers long already, and I'm reading a shower of proton radiation. Solar flow that size, there's a good chance we're going to have interference across the broadcast spectrum. Let's alert the FCC and get them ready Flight. for that. JPL just lost contact with the Mariner 14 probe. There was a surge in proton radiation, and then zip, like, it got fried. Mariner 14 is just inside the orbit of Mercury. So it can't be related to the flare. It's too fast. Those plasma clouds never move that quickly. You maybe, or maybe we've just never seen them move that fast. 